Hey there everybody, what's good, what's happening, Duel King 16 here, and today for all of you I have the second Egyptian God deck, Slifer the Sky Dragon, let me zoom out so you can see it, there we go, how's that, much better I hope, anyways let's go ahead, open this up, and look at all the new cards we get with this deck, but for zooming, no more, there we go, I'll do. Alright, uh, and we don't really need to look at the game map. We already did that, and I missed throwing it again. Alright, so there it is, Life of the Sky Dragon. Alright, and that'll do it for this episode. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Please don't leave, I need the likes and the views. Uh, but anyways, let's open this up. Come on, get it out of there. There we go. Kind of wish they did the um, alternate art for the Egyptian God cards. You know, the um, uh, autograph collection art. But you know what? I still love it. Still love the Egyptian God cards. So, of course, we have Slifer the Sky Dragon and Soul Crossing. I read I read all this text previously in the Obelisk deck. Ah, uh, Thunder Force attack. I believe that's Slifer's signature attack. So let's go ahead and read that up. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, this card's activation and effect cannot be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Slifer the Sky Dragon, Destroy as many face-up monsters your opponent controls as possible. Then, if you activate this card during your main phase, you can apply the following effect. Draw cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed by this effect and send to your opponent's graveyard. And sent to your opponent's graveyard. Also, you can only attack with one monster this turn. You can only activate one Thunder Force attack per turn. That is awesome. So you power up Slifer if you activate it during your main phase. Ooh, Millennium Seeker. Let's go ahead and read about you, shall we? When you take 1,000 or more battle or effect damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can target one monster in your, gra uh, in your opponent's graveyard, except a monster with question mark attack. Your opponent can choose one monster from their deck, except a monster with question mark attack. If they choose not to, or if the target monster has higher attack than the chosen monster, special summon the targeted monster to your field. And if you do, shuffle the chosen monster back into the deck. Otherwise, your opponent adds the chosen monster to the hand. You can only activate each effect of Millennium Seeker once per turn. Well, that's interesting. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. It's the Heart and Feather scale. I got it. I got it. Ultimate Divine Beast. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard one spell trap, then target one Divine Beast monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, then change the attack target to it. During the end phase, if you control a Divine Beast monster, you can destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls that activate their effects on the field this turn. You can only use each effect of Ultimate Divine Beast once per turn. Cool. Talus, the Little Angel. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon one Talus Wing token. Fairy Light Level 1 Attack 0 Defense 0. While you control a Talus Wing token, you can banish this card from your graveyard and one spell from your hand. Special summon two Talus Wing tokens. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn, except from your hand. You can only use each effect of Talus the Little Angel once per turn. Sounds awesome. Ooh, Reactor Slime. Cool. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. 
Special summon two slime tokens. Aqua, water, level 1, attack 500, defense 500. Also, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except Divine Beast monsters. During the battle phase, quick effect, you contribute this card, set one Metal Reflect Slime from your hand, deck, or graveyard. It can be activated this turn. You can only use each effect of Reactor Slime once per turn. That's cool. Glad they threw that in. Harpy's Feather Duster, you know, destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls. Uh, so those are some pretty awesome cards for this deck. Let's see what else they have. Uh, Breaker the Magical Warrior. Beast King Barbaros. Nine-Tailed Fox. Phantom Sky Blaster. Card Guard. Caligo Claw Crow. Electromagnetic Turtle. Wow. Awesome. Breaker the Dark Magical Warrior. Oh, that looks awesome. Scape Ghost. Ha, <laughs> funny. Uh, Arima the Wicked Warden. Uh, two of those, three of those. Okay. Duke Shade the Sinister Shadow Lord. Clock Wyvern. Tiny Spirit Vishuda, Swords of Revealing Light, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, Enemy Controller, Pot of Avarice, March of the Monarchs, Supply Squad, Card Advance, The True Name, Ooh. Uh, One Time Passcode, Layer of Darkness, Interesting. Draw of Fate. Huh, <laughs> that's cool. It, it, it gives you Exodia in the background. Oh, that is awesome. Actually, I don't think I've ever read this one before. If your life points are lower than your opponent's, and your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field, even if it's tied, reveal three cards with different names from your deck. Place them on top of your deck in random order, then draw one card. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot set spell traps. Also, you can only activate uh, one more card or effect. You can only activate one draw of fate. Oh, so basically, if you need the last three Exodia pieces, you can put those on top. Oh, I just realized they also has Dark Magician, Black Luster Soldier. <laughs> nice. Mirror Force, Reckless Greed, Mel Reflex Slime, The Golden Apple, and Back to the Front. And then three promotional cards. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode of What's in That Pack. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, Hit that bell so you never miss another video, and I will see all of you in the next one. So long, folks.